Hi, my name's Cameron Carlos with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at OhioCon 2020 with my good pal, Mr. Aaron Dismuke. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> so it's been only about a year since last time you and I got the chance to talk. Is at OhioCon 2019. How have you been? Doing good. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm getting to work a lot, which is awesome. Um, in, this, in this acting field, I think uh, the biggest problem with acting is finding work. And I've been finding it, so that's exciting. Right. And uh, following up with that, uh, you got to do now you're in the middle of season seven of Ruby. How's it been going for fans? I haven't been able to keep up with it. So how's, how's it been up for fans that have been able to keep up with you? Uh, it's cool. Uh, I mean, they, the budget keeps improving and the writing was always good and has remained that way. Uh, we, uh, uh, my, my big hope for Oscar was that he would um, find a friend who values him for being Oscar and not Ospen. And I think, I think we may be heading towards that. Good. I don't want to spoil. But yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, now since last time we got to talk, you got to come out in the big hit show that's now on Toonami, Simul Dubbing, Dr. Stone. We're getting a season two at some point. How's it going for you guys? And how much fun was it to bring science to the world after the world had no science? Such fun. Um, yeah, Sinku's, Sinku's an amazing character. Uh, and it's, it's very flattering to have been cast as him because, it's, oh, y'all think I'm smart? <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, so I, I've had a blast with it. And also I love getting to say a bunch of science words that I don't, don't actually know. Um, and yeah, he's just like, he's got so much, uh, I think it's called an internal locus of control. That's what you call it. Like, he's one of those people who like shapes the world to his will. Yeah. And I, I really admire that. So yeah. If you have any science words you need help with, just let me know. <laughs> yeah. So another big show that you got, we didn't, that's come back around. Um, and um, sorry, it was Fruits Basket. Uh, what was it like now doing the second season of it? Uh, now the redoing, retelling of it. Right. So uh, I was Hero. Actually, my one of my first roles, it was my, my first role was Young Akito in Fruits Basket. And my second role was Hero Soma in Fruits Basket. Uh, and I, I can't voice Hero anymore yeah, because... a little too high. Yeah, a little high for me. So instead, I'm going to be... I think his name's Kakaru Manabe. Um, and I've only recorded like four lines as the dude so far. <laughs> but I understand that I'll be in the next season. And I'm very excited to, to piss off Prince Yuki. Because I believe that's my character's main role. Yeah. Get back at your uh, at Eric Vale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty. Now uh, you also got to be in the Maiji Token Renka. How is it like to be in a good mix of new talent in uh, in that show? Like you know, you've got a lot of um, some veterans, and then there's a lot of new talent. So like, what was it like when you got to help shape that new talent and be one of the veterans of the anime world? It's uh, it's a cool show. Uh, I guess yeah. I guess I am one of the more established actors that was in that one. Yeah, I'm I'm a weird version of the old guard. Uh, yeah, that's a cool show. I I mean we don't we don't work together per se. Like you're, you're, yeah. Kind of nice mix of people and talent. Yeah, it was fun to be in that entourage, and I I like that character a lot. Uh, I think the real takeaway from that song, uh, I mean from that that show is the song Electricity. Um, Y'all uh, treat yourselves. Look up Meijin Tokyo Rambu electricity song just do that and the dub version is wonderful i love that uh yeah just talking about how great electricity is and how it's totally uh you know up and coming which kind of makes sense with Sinku as well some, some continuity <laughs> Alrighty. now um a show we didn't get to talk about last time was ulysses uh President Ulysses, Joan of Arc, and the um, Alchemist Knight. By the way, it's not President. I just had to say that in order to get through the name. Um, what was it like working on that show? I mean, there's a lot of like famous people wrapped into like one title. Yeah, uh, they turned a lot of famous people into pretty girls, uh, specifically. Just fine. Uh, yeah, it was, it was an enjoyable one. It's real weird, man. Like. <laughs> Hey, this is guy. Now he's a girl. The way that the way that my character uh, superpowers. So there's this girl who has superpowers, but only whenever she ingests my spit. And so you'd think that I could come up with a way to like spit in a bottle or something, but no, it evaporates instantly. So it has to be directly transmitted. So, so it's like it's like uh, the bad guys are there and us good guys are here, and we're like, we're gonna get you. One second, let me. <laughs> Tongue my girlfriend real quick, <laughs> and then and then we're coming at you. I think Sarah would love to hear that. 
<laughs> so again, you continue to write for Funimation on many, uh, many shows. Uh, what is it like when you get to write for your fellow voice actors and how much fun is it to be working with them? I mean, we've talked to a lot of your fellow voice cast that's were, yeah. were done on your writing and they said such wonderful things about your writing. So what's it like when you get to work with them and like, Hey, you know, I wrote this line. Do you think we could do better? Or did that work for you in this script? Like, so what's it like when you get that feedback too? Mm. Uh, who said wonderful things? I want to know. Uh, Damon. Nice. Because we talked about Namika. Yeah. Oh, man. Namika was so fun. Uh, it's a blast. Uh, I think I think I most enjoy acting whenever I'm in the booth, like, doing it. Um, like, But directing and writing, I enjoy more whenever I'm watching the final product. Like, it's just really fun to hear someone yeah. do a good take on... Um, on the lines on, you wrote and the direction you gave yeah, so I think I think one of my one of my biggest moments, one of my proudest moments as a adaptive writer was uh, the last season of Attack on Titan. Uh, I adapted uh, Irvin Smith's Final Charge. Uh, I'm, I mean, I adapted the whole thing, but uh, like the but that out. charge and getting to see Tatum's Tatum perform it uh, was amazing. I've watched it so many times. God, he's good. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, the amount of change that you can make is really subtle, and, and I wouldn't want it to be any other way. Like, my goal is to be invisible as a writer, but uh, we did one thing. We just made one little difference where the translation was, uh, was this is the only way that we can rebel against the cruelty of this world. Uh, charge my, sh- my soldiers, uh, fight my soldiers, scream my soldiers, I think is what it was. Um, and so... We changed it because it was kind of losing momentum uh, with the commas place place there. It's like you know, charge my sh- my soldiers. So uh, and there was this theme of that they were talking about with uh, the scouts being just recruits and not real soldiers. And so I wanted to articulate that in that moment they had become his soldiers through their willingness to do this charge. Um, and so I changed it to. From, from this is the sole way that we can rebel against the cruelty of this world to um, because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world. My soldiers push forward. My soldiers scream. Uh, my soldiers rage. Uh, and so, yeah. And the way that he, the way that he, he did it, it, it really makes it like a... I, I think that the way we did it was the strongest way to make the audience feel that desire to charge with him you know yeah and I, like i said the the, the uh vocalism from tatum just makes it like i know when he gets in those moods i'm like yeah i want to listen to tatum all day when he does says that stuff to me yeah. so um again following up are there any upcoming projects that are currently available you want fans to see that aren't behind the pesky nda wall <laughs> uh yeah Dr. Stone is is very good uh also uh legend of the galactic heroes nice. um I, I voice Reinhard in that, and we're doing the second season right now of it. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Anything else? <laughs> Everything's kind of locked behind that wall, huh? Oh, uh, It Invaded. I adapted scripts for the first two episodes. It's got Josh Greeley starring. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I hope fans will be able to check it out, right? Yeah, same. All right, and now where can we keep up with you online and a message you'd love to give to all the wonderful fans out there? Go to... Twitter.com, and then type in Aaron Dismuke, and you'll find me. It's a picture of me, like, hunched over a typewriter, looking kind of pissy. Um, and thanks for watching, I guess, would be my message. I, I appreciate y'all uh, being with me on this journey for all these years. Again, Aaron, it's been wonderful to hang out with you, my friend. Thank you so much. Likewise. Cheers. Yep.